Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you are doing fine. And always excited to learn English online. On our today's topic, we will discuss about physical appearance. At the final of our discussion, every student need to understand how to construct the sentence so please pay attention to my explanation now take a look to these tables we are going to talk about how to describe people around us when we want to describing people, there are two points that we need to understand. The first point is personality. You have learned personality on the previous meeting. And today you will learn about physical appearance. In physical appearance, there are some other points that you need to understand, such as age, hake, wake or build hair, eyes, nose, skin, and special features. On the next slide, you will understand how to describe each sentence on this each point. But before we go on, we need to understand first about the expression of asking personality and the expression of asking physical appearance. When you want to ask about someone's physical appearance, you use the expression of what does he look like or what does she look like. And when you want to ask about someone's personality, you use the expression of what is he like or what is she like. The use of he or she are depends on the subject. If the subject is a boy or a man, you can use he and if the subject is a girl or a woman you can use the subject she please pay attention of the expression because they seems look alike but actually they are different so don't swap the expression when you want to use about someone's personality or someone's physical appearance. Describing personality. Before you forget about the word that you learned from previous meeting, here I will review one by one the vocabulary in describing personality. You can follow after me when I pronounce the word one by one. Ambitious charming, clever, creative, enthusiastic, funny, gentle, hard-working, helpful, honest, intelligent, lovely, optimistic, polite, persuasive, self-confident, quiet, sensitive, sociable, 
straightforward, sincere, understanding, thoughtful, and attractive. Please practice the vocabulary so you can pronounce it correctly. Okay, now let's practice to construct the sentence in describing personality. You see the pictures and the picture seems familiar to you. This is a picture of a man and this man is very funny. And he is also creative. So we use the expression of asking personality with what is he like you can answer the question with he is self-confident or he is creative or he is funny just choose one vocabulary to express the man in the picture you can use one or you can use more it's up to you as long as the vocabulary is perfect to the picture that you want to describe about the personality after you describe about someone's personality you can continue by describing their physical appearance in the first point in physical appearance uh, we describe about the age there are three types in age the first type is young middle age or old the expression of asking about physical appearance is what does she look like so you can answer the question with she is young she is middle age or she is old middle age is between 30 until 50 so you say someone old is like your grandmother or your grandfather the next point in describing someone physical appearance is about their hake there are some types in describing someone's height that are average height tall short medium height and you can use the expression what does he look like when you want when you want to describe their height you can say he is tall or he is short or you can say he is medium height point to describe someone's physical appearance is to describe their weak or build the words that can be used to describe someone weak such as muscular strong well built in shape heavy chubby and bony you can use fat plump and overweight but that words are offensive to use when you describing someone's wig example of sentence what does he look like you can see in the picture the man is strong so the sentence will be he is strong or we can say he is muscular
additional vocabulary to describe someone's weight or build are average weight, slim, thin, and skinny. In this picture, you can see the man is skinny. So the sentence will be, he is skinny. The next point that you need to understand when you want to describe someone's physical appearance is by describing their hair. You can see here there are a lot of pictures and we will discuss the pictures one by one. The first picture, you can see the girl with the long hair and the type of the hair is straight and the color of the hair is brown the next picture the size of the hair is short and the color is gray the third the size of the hair is wavy and the color is black and the last picture the size of the color the hair is curly and the color is red so when you want to describe someone's hair you will explain first the size whether it's long or short and then the types whether it's dried or it curly and then the last is describe the color so when you choose one picture here to construct the sentence it will be she has got long straight brown hair long is the size stride is the type of the hair and brown is the color the next example is from the last picture she has got short curly red hair so short is the size of the hair curly is the type and red is the color pay attention on this slide the previous slide when we want to construct the sentence the sentence will be she is or he is but when you want to describe someone's physical appearance using their hair the sentence will be she has got so don't forget to focus what point you want to describe in someone's physical appearance Additional vocabulary that you can use to describe someone's hair in this picture is bold and additional color is blonde. So the sentence, if you construct it, will be She has got blonde hair. The next point is to describe someone's eyes. There are two types of vocabulary in describing someone's eyes. There are slanted eyes and wide eyes. So when we use the expression of what does he look like, we choose the first picture. So the sentence will be, he has got slanted eyes. And to describe someone's nose, there are two types, such as flat nose and pointed nose. In this picture, the girl is beautiful and she has got pointed 
knows. The next is to describe someone's skin. The vocabulary are light skin, dark skin, olive skin, and tan skin. We choose the second picture to describe it. The man has got dark skin. Or the first picture, you can use the sentence, he has got light skin. The last point when you want to describe someone's physical appearance is to pay attention about their special features. The first picture, the girl is having pimple. If the pimple only one, so you can say pimple. If you have more than one pimple, so use as pimples. Next is freckles, mole, mustache, or breed, dimples and wrinkles. So now let's practice when you combine all the personality and the physical appearance you will use this order so the first describe the personality first next the age hair, hair eyes nose skin and special features so there are eight points that you need to memorize when you want to describe someone's physical appearance. In this picture, uh, we can describe the girl by start with asking her personality. The expression is, what is she like? So we can conclude by looking the picture that she is self-confident. After you describe her personality, then continue by describe her physical appearance. Start with her age. She is young and then her age, she is average height. After that, continue with her hair. She has got long, straight, blonde hair. And then her eyes, she has got wide eyes. And then her nose, she has got pointed nose. Her skin, she has got light skin. And special features, she has got moles. Later on, don't forget to download the handout that is provided in this meeting so you can practice by your own to describe someone's physical appearance by starting with her personality and continue with the physical appearance. Remember, there are eight points that you need to memorize when you want to describe someone.